nuclear mass divided by nuclear volume uh, nuclear mass equal to number of nucleons present which is the mass number into mass of one nucleon mn divided by 4 by 3 pi r cube in r the value namale uh, empirical formula ubayichittu r the value substitute ya r0 a raised to 1 by 3 volt cube next endana cube edukunu r0 cube a raised to 1 by 3 volt cube ennu parayne a idu rendum cancel edu so our equation becomes mn divided by 4 by 3 pi r0 cube equal to next and then mn the value substitute a 1.67 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram divided by 4 by 3 pi r0 the value r0 the no no constant and its value is written as 1.3 into 10 raised to minus 15 volt cube simplify here nuclear density the unit and the iricum now carry up density no one mass by volume on so nuclear density the unit in no one kilogram per meter cube Second problem is radius of HO165 is 7.731 Fermi meter. Reduce the radius of HE4. The first step is HO165 and HE4 is radius in the equation. R1 equal to R0 raised to 1 by 3. And the helium in the case is R2 equal to R0 raised to 1 by 3. R1 by R2 equal to values substitute a equation in the R0 R0 cancel either. so we can calculate R2 by cross multiplying the terms hmm? clear value can do it R0 the unit Fermi meter let an elda noga carnivore number convert here so we get R2 also in Fermi meter third problem is find the ratio of radii of aluminium 13, 27 and tellurium 50 to 125. This is the same method. Aluminium R1 and radius in the value is the tellurium in the value is R1 by R2 on a ratio. Clear? Next, uh, we are discussing about theories of nuclear composition. So, nuclear composition the theories are the same. So, nuclear composition theory is the same as the nucleus particles. The theory is the same as the main proton electron hypothesis and proton neutron hypothesis. The hypothesis is correct. We have to do We have to do assumptions. We proton electron hypothesis. This hypothesis was put before the discovery of neutron. That is, neutron kandu vidikin in Mumbai, e hypothesis uh, introduced the proton electron hypothesis. According to this hypothesis, nucleus of an atom was assumed to be made up of A protons and A minus Z electron or ka uh, hypothesis on a correct avanilla. So according to proton electron hypothesis, nucleus is <coughs> consist of A protons and A minus Z electrons. This hypothesis was able to explain emission of alpha particle and beta particle that is alpha particle emission and beta particle emission valare nannayitte explain cheyan sadichu pakshe thaale parayna naal kaaranangal konde allengil sorry moonu kaaranangal konde uh, electron cannot be exist inside the nucleus allengil uh, electron is forbidden to exist inside the nucleus clear ayo proton electron hypothesis ithre parayunnullu Inside the nucleus, there are A protons and A minus Z electron. In this hypothesis, we explain the emission of alpha emission of alpha particle, explain the emission of emission of beta particle. explain the emission of beta particle. First reason is, 
according to heisenberg's uncertainty principle idu ningal padichittundao allengil ini 6th sem il quantum mechanics il valare nannayittu padikkunna aayirikkana according to heisenberg's uncertainty principle if an electron is exist inside the nucleus adhaayidu electron nucleus nullil exist cheyidirikkana nu vicharikka anganeyanengil adinte energy etrayavanam energy should be of of 200 mega electron volt adhaayidu according to heisenberg's uncertainty principle if an electron is exist inside the nucleus it should have an energy of 200 mega electron volt clear aayile electron exist cheyanengil etra energy venam 200 mega electron volt pakshe alpha sorry beta particle beta particle nu parney endu thaniyana electron thaniyana emitted from radioactive nuclei do not have kinetic energy greater than 4 mega electron volt pakshe beta particles endu electron thaniyana beta particles radioactive nuclei emit cheda beta particle inde kinetic energy measure edapol ad etraya varunnullo 4 mega electron volt nekalum koravanu so electron cannot be present within the nucleus appo adithe point varanja manasilayile electron exist cheyanengil adinte energy etraya avanam 200 mega electron volt pakshe radioactive nucleus emit cheyda electron de energy etraya avunnullo kinetic energy nu parayunnathu less than 4 mega electron volt clear adu ond electron cannot be present within the nucleus ini randamthe point nu parna nucleus de magnetic moment is less than magnetic moment of electron adayathu nucleus eduthu kanja ayinde magnetic moment um electron de magnetic moment um compare cheyumbe edinaanu koodudalayittulla electron is having greater magnetic moment appo so, magnetic moment um koodudalaya electron ne cannot be present inside the nucleus which is having low value for magnetic moment so electron cannot be a constituent of nucleus clear aayile randamthe magnetic moment in the terms ilana nammal explain cheynathu reason why nucleus electron cannot be inside the nucleus moonamthe point nu parnal electron um proton um elementary particle aanu so they have spin of half adinte spin inde value half aanu thus nuclei with even number of protons and even number of electron adayathu number of protons number of electrons even anengil adinte spin endayittu varum integral spin example aayittu parayana rendu proton appo spin ennu parayumba endana oru proton de half adutha proton de half appo total spin ennu parayana 2 ee rendu electron idhe pole ana 2 so it its value is integral adana parnathu nuclei with an even number of protons and electron should have protons and electron they should have a half integral spin consider the case of deuterium which has three particle two protons and one electron appo endavana automatically nammal parnja adinte spin onengil 1 by 2 avanam rendu opposite aayittu varayanengil 1 by 2 allengil moonu anna add up cheyanengil 3 by 2 but experiment show that spin of deuterium is 1 which is in con, uh, in contradiction to the hypothesis the hypothesis prakaram parayunnena opposite aayittana ee result vanne so electron can due to these three reasons electron cannot be inside the nucleus ini second hypothesis nu parnal proton neutron hypothesis according to this hypothesis nammal ippo follow cheyunnathu thaneyana proton neutron hypothesis in nucleus of atomic a nucleus of atomic number z and mass number a consist of z protons and a minus z neutrons and extra nuclear space adayathu nucleus nu chuttumulla space is occupied by electron its number is also z so that atom as a ball is neutral adayathu proton de thulliyamayittulla numberil thaneyana electron um present so atom as a ball is neutral idana proton neutron hypothesis varun this hypothesis was able to explain observed value of nuclear spin and nuclear magnetic moment and also existence of isotopes 
emission of alpha particles, emission of beta particles. This is the same thing. We will explain the uh, proton neutron hypothesis. Let's go to the problem section. Binding energy is a problem. We will talk about binding energy. We will talk about the question. Question is the binding energy of an isotope of mass number 20 and atomic number 10 is 160.64 mega electron volt. Find it atomic mass given mass of proton and mass of neutron. Now, we will the step. We will the mass number. A value 20. 20. Atomic number is set in the value than it under ten binding energy than it under one sixty point six four atomic mass and other this step on our binding energy the equation is the binding energy the equation and then uh, delta m into nine thirty one point four seven Alla, binding energy in our mass defect into nine thirty one point four nine other than the delta m now can do it Binding energy divided by 931.49. We have answer it. In delta m in the mass, delta m in the mass defect in the equation is Z mp plus a minus Z mn minus m. We have to calculate this m. We have to rearrange it in terms uh, so that m can be calculated. So, we have to substitute the values to substitute the m in the value. Uh, obtain the next problem is the binding energy of neon isotope is 160.647 mega electron volt find its atomic mass Apa neon isotope in the uh, atomic mass Binding energy is atomic, uh, atomic number and mass number. That is the binding energy equation is the mass defect into 931.49 multiply. That is the mass defect. Next step is the mass defect in the equation. That is the terms like equation. The values substitute. The next question is calculate the binding energy of an alpha particle. Alpha particle is binding energy. Alpha particle is helium nucleus he 24 alpha particle. Mass of proton mass of neutron mass of alpha particle. Is the binding energy equation is the binding energy is Zmp plus A minus Zmn minus M. C square first mass defect is the same as the binding energy. The binding energy is the mass defect. The mass defect in the equation the values are substituted. That is the answer. U is the atomic mass unit. Now, AMU is 931.49. 931.51. Binding energy is the atomic mass unit the mass defect is the that is 931.49. Or the binding energy equation delta m into c square is the same as delta m is the atomic mass unit. One atomic mass unit is the equivalent energy is the 931.49 mega electron volt. That is multiply. Clear? The next problem is Calculate the binding energy per nucleon of iron Fe 2656 in mega electron volt. Mass of proton, mass of neutron, mass of iron. Now, we have to do the binding energy. Binding energy per nucleon. Total nucleon number 56. Now, 56 which divide. Here. We will question. We will submit. Thank you.